All right, I got a Samsung laptop here. It's model number NP-R540, and it's not powering on. So let's see. If, I'll show you what it's doing. All right, let's see what it does. So the power light here is coming on, and the power light right there is coming on down here at the bottom. Uh, you can hear the. DVD-ROM spinning up because there's something in it and you can uh, hear the CPU fan but that's as far as it goes there's no uh, picture uh, that kind of tells me that it's either the motherboard RAM or the processor so let's start tearing into it and troubleshoot it alright so underneath this panel here is the memory that's what we want to check out first uh, you can call it RAM, memory, whatever, but it'll be the easiest to, to troubleshoot starting with the memory. And before you do anything uh, with removing the panels or the memory, you want to take your battery out. So let's do that. Alright, now with the battery out, let's go ahead and remove this panel. And there is a screw missing already, so either it fell out or somebody's already been in here. Alright, there's your memory. It's, uh, it's pretty dusty in there, so I'm going to go and spray it out with some compressed air. Let's go do that. Alright, got some electronics compressed air here that I... Eh, I don't remember where I got it, but anyway, just want to blow it in there. Blow it into the van. Get whatever you can, dust it off. Alright, now let's dust it off. I just want to try switching it to the other side to see if that'll fix anything. Most likely it won't. Typically, uh, if you just have one RAM stick, it needs to go into a specific slot, the number one slot usually, I'm assuming. That's weird. It goes in upside down on this side. There we go. Gotta get it in at the right angle and get the slide in. Alright, let's see if that works. Alright, battery's back in. Let's try powering it on. Still the same. Well, just by coincidence, I happen to have some RAM that's the same that this computer takes, so I'm going to slap it in there. See if that fixes it. Oops. Make sure you take the battery out first. Alright, battery's out, so now go ahead and move your RAM. This one's only two gigabyte, but should be fine to get it to boot up. Alright, let's see if that actually did it. Let's put the battery back in and try it. No video. Okay, even though that didn't fix it, uh, installing this new RAM stick right there, um, that doesn't mean it's not the RAM. It's possible that somebody had already opened it up, took the RAM stick from this slot, and moved it to that one to see if that would fix it. So it's possible that this is the slot that needs the RAM. Let's go ahead and move this down here and see if that will fix it. And this one, for this side, you got to flip it upside down to get it to plug in. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, here we go. Let's try it. Oh, we got, we got more lights and we got a screen. Fantastic, that fixed it. So what had happened is you had, there was a bad memory stick 
and uh, whoever had opened that uh, memory cover had taken the memory stick that was in it, moved it to the other slot, didn't fix it, so they gave it to me, and uh, and it, it's a bad memory stick, so it's fixed. So with memory, one of the slots is usually the primary one that you always have to have a uh, memory stick in in order for anything to work. So for this computer, it's this slot right here that has to have the memory stick in it. And uh, there you go. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to get into the CMOS and validate that your memory is actually being recognized. And let's go ahead and power it on. So when it's booting, you need to hit F2 right here at that window. It brings up this. You just scroll with your arrow keys over to main. Then you can see right there it's got the four gigabytes. I, I put two memory sticks, two gigabyte sticks in the two slots. That's how I got the four gig. So even though we got it fixed by replacing the memory, I want to go ahead and uh, just show you how to take the hard drive out and take the CD-ROM out because that's uh, those two things could also cause this issue if uh, one of them is bad. So I'll show you just how to take those out um, if you need some further troubleshooting. Uh, hard drives underneath this, that HDD means hard drive or disk drive, whatever. So, got two screws. Holding that panel on. Woo. Come on. Get out of there. Okay. Alright, well, the screws are out. Slide that back like that to get it open. There's your hard drive. So make sure you unplug your battery before you go removing the hard drive. And that looks like it requires no screws to be removed. Let's just, uh, we got a pull tab here. Yep, just pull it. Comes unplugged. Taking out the DVD player burner, whatever the heck it is. In order to do that, you have to, well, first unplug your battery and take this screw out. And this screw is what's holding in the DVD ROM. And then you just grab on right here and pull. Alright, it's out. Thanks for watching.